Hello everyone. Okay, mic is on. Just wanted to check. This is a tournament game. So let's put this uh, no advice box up here. Uh, I'm playing with uh, Bigfoot, Pain, and PJ. This is like my fifth game of round two. Uh, and uh, looking for my first win of the round here because I have not gotten one yet. Um, this first pack, nothing too special. Pavior might be the best card here. Roof Examiner is pretty funny. You only want to play it if Basket Maker's Workshop is one of your four major improvements. Lumberjack is okay with early fencing options. Emissary, you trade stuff for stone. It's maybe okay. If I take Pavior, then Emissary works out pretty well. Building Tycoon is interesting. Um and an okay option for early reno strats. You can play it kind of like a clay hut extension. Sheep agent is not great. Potato harvester, not great. So yeah, I will take uh, pavior here and hope for emissary back, maybe building tycoon. Nothing too crazy to note from that pack, I would say in general. So a fun thing happened while I was waiting. Uh, Enwall redeemed uh, channel credits. And the next time I see card player from the France deck, I have to play it. I can probably be aggressive with drafting it on the wheel, but my nightmare is card player showing up in my fourth pack. Where I would have to play it and not be able to wheel it. Scholar looks okay here. Resource Recycler could be okay. Pure Breeder could be okay. Shore Forester could be okay. I like Stable Cleaner, but I'm not really sure how good it is. It has some combos in the Miners, which would be fun. But relying on the miners to give you the right combos is really hard now that we're at four expansions. I think I'll take stable cleaner. Saving a wood on stables is good. Resource Recycler is a tiny bit better with Scholar in the game. And with Building Tycoon... You build a room in the new resource. Resource Recycler is not bad here. But I think Stable Cleaner is probably a little better. Stable planner. Useless now. Um, hmm. Autumn Mother can be pretty strong in the right situations. Reed Roof Renovator could pay off. There's already a lot of read this game. Man, it's going to suck not taking the best card. Uh, Equipper can be okay. Parrot Breeder gets you like from second in the queue to first in the queue. So if pain starts more than usual, then P 
TJ's going to be getting a good action second. And I can copy that action, maybe? So, if I take Parrot Breeder, it's kind of banking that I'll want the same action space as PJ. Trying to think of how PJ's usual game arc is, he usually builds a room pretty early. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just take Autumn Mother here. And... Build at least four rooms. I want to pass Equipper because if Pain has Equipper, then Pain becomes more predictable about start players. The biggest problem I have when playing with Pain is that I have trouble expecting uh, his action, uh, guessing at his action. So this is a bit of a meta pick. But the more predictable I can make my opponents, the better. This is a really fun combo with Lumberjack. Uh, I was going to do something. Workshop Assistant is okay. Each time you harvest a field tile. So you can get multiples off this. Wood clay reed stone, reed clay wood. Eh, not amazing, not bad. Uh, open air farmer with stable cleaner is a total non-bow. Established person is kind of fun. Site manager lets you save like a woodstone on the well or a clay on hearth. Open air with lumberjack is really fun. It makes stable cleaner like really bad as a pick. Established person with resource recycler is really strong. Estate worker is probably just not good enough here compared to workshop assistant or field cultivator. I'm going to take Established Person because it combos with Building Tycoon or Resource Recycler pretty well. So there is Lumberjack. So I could block pick Lumberjack. Midwife is better now. You get a grain for the times when the first person uses growth. Oh! Y'all, I confused uh, Building Tycoon for Weekend Worker. Weekend Worker not in Revised Edition. Building Tycoon is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so I probably just take Pavior here. Or uh, Emissary here to help with Pavior. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Emissary is probably all right to trade food, clay, wood, reed for four stone throughout the game. That's probably good enough. Yeah. Midwife won't be useful with Autumn Mother. Oh, resource recyclers here. Nobody took Scholar. I don't have enough of a reason to take Scholar, but Resource Recycler is definitely a good pick here. Because uh, Established Person Rado to Clay is free and then the Fence Action is, is good. I still could have taken Lumberjack just with that Fence Action, but honestly I forgot Resource Recycler was in my second pack instead of my first. But uh, Resource Recycler with Scholar here should be good. Scholar in the game, if it gets used. At this point, I'm relying on Bigfoot to do it. 
Uh, wall builder and reed roof reno are both okay. I don't really need to take merchant. Equipper did get taken. So I guess it's good if either Bigfoot or Payne took Equipper. Less good if PJ did. Payne for predictability. Bigfoot because it lessens start player chances. I don't think I need Reed Roof Renovator. I'll take Wall Builder. And maybe if I play Resource Recycler, Wall Builder can actually be useful. Okay, Goblet is annoying. You randomly get a start player. Petrified Wood is interesting. Carriage Trip, always interesting. Wheel Plow is fantastic. I probably just take Wheel Plow because plows in this format are really good. Carriage Trip, Mining Hammer, both great. I might want to reno too early to make Mining Hammer good. And I also have Stable Cleaner already. Uh, Petrified Wood is kind of extra with Emissary. Trellis is good. I might have a reason to play Elephant Grass Plant. So I'll have a choice of at least two of these five. I don't think I'll be doing Eternal Rye. Uh, this is three plus grain, you get one grain, not one grain in the food. There's errata on that, which you can find in my revised compendium. So I think I want trellis back because or carriage trip. Wheel plow is really good. Always happy to see a good plow in the first pack. So I don't have grain yet. And early fences on established person might get a little blocked. But... So what would be perfect for me? Uh, Reedstone food. Pavior in the first two rounds, so I might want a quick miner to play after playing Pavior if I get Auk round one, just to take start easily. Very interesting pack here. In a vacuum, throwing axe is probably best. But I'm not really taking wood super late. Muckrake with stable cleaner, that's naughty. It's not like also having stable architect, but it's okay. Excursion to the quarry. I mean, that's really good to play after pavier. Pavier, start player excursion. Even for just two stone, that's really good. I wouldn't get a stone with store of experience early. Excursion to the quarry is just really good. So I have an option to take sleeping corner, even though I don't have grain. Yet. Can hope for grain in the last two minor piles. There's generally a fair amount of crops in this set. This is the tough part where I try to remember if I pass anything grainy. Not anything good and grainy, but those get taken early. So Sleeping Corner kind of makes other people early reno strategies more viable, so maybe I pass it. And take Excursion to the Quarry hoping to wheel Muckrake. This guarantees Pavier, and Pavier is just really good. This 
So that's... I'm not really sure that's a great option because it gives... I mean, I'm passing a way to get... Oh. 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 Whoa. Oh, no. Okay. I think I take Smoking Mantelpiece here. Pavier Excursion. Reedstone. Established or just established mantelpiece. Yeah, this is this is a lot of points. I mean trowel's great and Oh what's funny if someone re renos to stone from wood, I can still use resource recycler. Yep. It's almost a ranch. Established person mantelpiece. So, I have plans. I need green, though. And I'll want to stay in clay, because that keeps resource recycler active all game. I might not actually need to fill too many spaces if I get three free clay rooms off of, well, quote-unquote free with resource recycler. I'll need to keep my food good. But, yeah, it sucks a little, but it's not bad. I might wheel trellises also. As long as you're not giving advice, Sid. I, I hope you're only pointing out extremely obvious things. I don't mind that. I have emissary also if I needed stone, but it looks like that's taken care of. Uh, seven goods in the final harvest? That might be possible. Uh, a veil of straw doesn't help. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're good. Hook knife is six sheep in a four player, and if I have early fences, which I hope to have, then plant fertilizer is interesting. Credit is maybe the best card here, but I'm gonna be playing a lot of ox, so maybe it's not a good choice. Work permit, not bad. Get an action for a read. Three grain fields not happening. I don't think I can take credit. So it's work permit or wood rake. And wood rake's not really reliable. So I guess I just take work permit. Hook knife is pretty reliable. Maybe I should take that. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I would have to basically give up the action. Because I need really efficient stuff. Okay, what happened here? The stuff I didn't want came back. Mining hammer I don't have time for. Am I taking eternal rye? Am I taking... No, I'm not taking petrified wood. Stone clearing's not gonna work. So what is that? Trellises and carriage trip got taken. Yeah, this is really not what I wanted to see. I guess I take Eternal Rye to remind myself I need grain fields to win this game.
not great. That's basically the best I can hope for. I could use a uh, stable cleaner to trigger agricultural fertilizers, but unlikely. Muckrake is three somewhat easy points. Wall builder resource recycler probably isn't a combo combo, but that but that last uh, last oc pick was complete trash. Acorn's basket, that's good. Uh, it's at any time. So you really need to announce like the specific moment it's happening. Um, it doesn't need to happen until right before your turn though. Like whatever needs to happen. There is like a couple miners in this set, which we didn't see that say, um, if you get a stable down, if, depending on how many stables you have in each harvest, something happens with grain or something like that. It's pretty clearly Acorn's Basket, though. Play-by-play -play says I'm going fourth. Hard to imagine in a revised game that I wouldn't get three wood. But if someone has scales or lantern wonder, then three wood is the play. So I pretty much have to hope for that now. Major minor flips around one. And Bigfoot plays animal teacher. Nice. Major, minor, animal, teacher, easy to play, second action. Pain playing stable planner. Okay. Yeah, so Bigfoot, open air farmer, lumberjack, very likely, as open air farmer was in his opening pack. This means he took a quipper also, most likely. Otherwise, PJ has it. I think this is going okay, even though it's... Uh, the fourth seed is just killing me right now. Uh, well, we were planning on having Doe here around now, but then Payne showed up like 20 minutes before Doe would. Doe was going to. Uh, I'll three wood day labor here, most likely. Happy to take Reed Stone, of course. Yep, three wood. Uh, then pretty clearly two clay, probably two wood, but plow and start are definitely... Yeah, but I mean, Doe was actually, he sounded pretty busy and was, I think, trying to be a nice guy. And like, I had to disrupt his day and uh, message him on Discord while he was like offline just to try to get something done uh two wood for pain yeah this is the situation i super didn't want probably just hit day labor Bigfoot probably ox. Pain is like an ox fiend. Um, okay. I'll just do all my things around late. Make sure I get pavier down. Start excursion. Yeah. Might as well play the miners I probably want to play. Because uh, I'm not going to have the actions to later.
Taking a grain could signal double turn plow for PJ, or uh, milking place the new house goat, which is not very good. Bigfoot plays sheep agent, which is the thing that lets you hold a sheep on each ock, as expected. Yeah, it's too bad I had to like force this ock out. Pain takes reed stone. PJ takes three wood or two reed, and I'll start. Which gives pain like a really good round. But I can't worry about that. I have big things lined up. Yeah, the reed I absolutely don't need. So this is like way earlier than I usually like playing this card. So this is going to be an eight point net mantelpiece. 11 full rounds to play, minus three. Gotta do it. Bigfoot took the two read instead of Maymai, which is fine. So Pavior, I just need to hold uh, a stone in my supply for the whole game, which isn't going to be that difficult. Uh, here I play Established Person. And then Mantelpiece on either Improvement Spot. Probably just keep Start, take four food next round. Well, Bigfoot fishes, which isn't great news. I can still take day labor. Pain plays trap layer. What is this? Day labor gives him food, food, boar on the next three. Okay, so he's taking himself out of the uh, traveling line. Okay, it was double turn plow. And I'll finish my opening out here. So if I can build any semblance of a farm, I've got like 12 bonus points in miners, or 13, something like that. Oh, Bigfoot, why you do this? Yeah, well, we hadn't seen sheep come out. I didn't really think about it, but my food is a tiny bit of an issue right now, unfortunately. I'm going sixth next round. Pain does want day labor, which is really freaking annoying. Um, if PJ gives me Reedstone, then I'll do that. I'm gonna grade that as unlikely. 
Bigfoot taking the food is a really good move if he thinks I'm in the lead, which I might be. PJ plays art teacher, letting me take Reedstone here, which is really useful, honestly. Using food from TP to... So second move, I think day labor is my best choice. Yeah, I mean, it's generous, but like, look at what everyone else is getting. Uh, he gets a read when he plays art teacher. The card's not very good, so it gives it a wood and a read immediately to make it not not good. That's how this set works. If things are not not good, they get random things added to it, so they're not not good. So I do get day labor here. And then I have time uh, before I need to resource recycle. Uh, it looks like clay's gonna be at five if I'm lucky. Nope. Just take that idea and throw it out the window, Lumen. So unfortunately can't get a green field down. I think I should try to next round. Because having eternal rye is going to be nice. Gets a grain per harvest if I finish harvesting grain. Okay, so I still want to take a lot of wood. General difference between uh, original style game and revised style game. Uh, so there are more crops, there are more building resources, there are more food options. Uh, you still need to find a good food option, but it's not going to be baseline hearth. There's no baseline for food, I would say. Um, there are a ton of clown strategies. Like, look what I did. I renoed and I played a miner for eight points. And I don't know when I'm growing. Um, and I'm okay with this. Pain plays Witch's Dance Floor on start player, which counts as a bunch of things for prereqs and not much else. Pain has a stable on farm, right? Yeah, okay. And takes three read. PJ gets first growth. Uh, this is about as bad as it gets for me here. Uh, yeah, you can exchange Witch's Dance Floor for a uh, Cooking Heart. That's its only use in terms of cooking. Yeah. So Pain it didn't get the day labor, so it doesn't get to Breed Boar in Stage 2. Um, I think I just keep taking Reedstone. I buy the well because of points. I buy Basket Maker's Workshop. I build fences. Right, Oriental Fireplace also. Yes, and Earth Oven, that one. Pure Breeder for Bigfoot, that's good. That's really good. This... Yeah, this makes sense of why he would want to take all that food, because he still needs to play Ox. Okay, and he doesn't have a fireplace. Round 5, Family Growth almost kills my game. Uh, well, it's time to pull out the tricks. Um, but also, 
My chances at second place aren't bad either. Just having this many points in minors, I think, gives me a very high floor. I just need to be careful. I'm getting three wood here after Payne takes day labor. Which play-by-play -play is telling me that he's doing. Yeah, four food and a pig. Not a bad action space in the early game. All right, PJ's actually growing, obviously. Uh, so I could take three wood or start player. PJ plays Repook. Oh, this one's really good. Gives you a grain on the next three-ish rounds. Yeah, that one's really good. Bigfoot probably could start if I let him, but would rather just build a fireplace here. I could start with wheel plow. But Bigfoot, I think, has a quipper, so I want him to have trouble doing all this. Invalidates? I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, ways to get green are still ways to get green to me. So I can never run out of stone. which means I should spend my stone super aggressively on majors. Yeah. This is a good round to start player in because I can aim for six clay, or at least hope for it. Bigfoot does buy fireplace here. Because build grow is not contested. Uh, so we'll see if PJ takes the four wood, but the feeding looks a bit suspicious and a hearth would be fantastic here for him. Locking up the major space before I get to it and locking up the three sheep because Bigfoot's growing. Bigfoot does pure breed in the end of round six. So he gets six, eight, 10, 12 extra breeds. So that's four sheep for an ock, not bad. And the timing of it's pretty good, like the extra food, very nice. Uh, there is plenty of food in this game. So after almost dying in stage one or getting a bit uncomfortably close to dying, I think I'll be okay. I think I get four wood here and reed stone would be great on the rebound for a well next round. Uh, reed stone or start player, depending on how the clay looks. PJ could very well take the clay also and just go for a Renault hearth line. Yeah. I'm going to assume Bigfoot took Trowel, the miner that lets you run out of stone just because it's a good miner. So I should play Resource Recycler fairly early. But right now I'm looking at getting fences up. It looks like I'm not building a regular clay room. I'm not super convinced round five growth is bad for me. I mean, it's not great for me, but it's not terrible. Emissary, I'm not sure I want to put that much stone in the game, though it does help people reno faster. Ooh, these, these effects are weird. I'm not sure what I want. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, that's really bad news for me. That's a card I really didn't want to see. Especially with pain, someone who just loves exploiting cards for all they're worth. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, 
It might be. But I'm gonna do the typical thing that one does when you're behind on family members, which is take wood and food and see if I can survive off of it. I get six wood, unless PJ takes three. PJ not, I mean, if I start, then Bigfoot gets the sheep and PJ has to feed. I mean, it's good for pain, but he can mess it up. We can get him to mess it up. Could fence here. Pain build grows next round. But if I if I fence, then PJ builds hearth. I think I want to play. So my only real lines here are make PJ suffer or be nice to PJ and the effects that that because Bigfoot and pain are spoken for pain's next two actions and Bigfoot's next action Bigfoot growing with mining hammer, nice. PJ takes the wood. This is not going well. Still have a chance. Oh, Bigfoot, uh, I missed the round. Bigfoot has an extra sheep off that. Just read stone here, I think. Could take three clay. But I probably can only afford to do read stone and well. Other option is taking food from the board, but PJ will probably do that himself. Bigfoot not threatening or needing the sheep yet. Oh, this has gone so badly, but it's okay. It's okay. Bigfoot starts with education bonus. Continuing things I don't want to see. PJ definitely wants to take fishing over traveling because art teacher using food from traveling. Should really try to fence pretty soon. The hook knife really wants to be hit. There could be a wood shortage here because nobody's played open air farmer lumberjack, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, I knew Edge bonus was in, but I don't know. Playing it on three ox in is not perfect. Because the grain clay reed is good. I guess the stone veg field is still pretty nice. And you know you're playing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe education bonus is supposed to be played. Uh, isn't needed as an early ox. Pottery for PJ. Not a hearth. That's That does reduce the amount of food in the game, which I think I like. Stone Basket Maker's Workshop would be a nice line next round. I mean, I'm definitely not sure I have enough points here, but let's see what I can do. Muckrake is a good last miner on growth. Because, like, what's very likely to happen is that I get growth with room in 13 and 14. Bigfoot playing puppeteer. Seeing that PJ very likely needs to take it, uh, to take traveling. Well, maybe not. Puppeteer, not very good in revised, just because those food stacks keep piling, even if you're giving a bonus food. The art teacher sucking from it isn't good for him. Bigfoot's in a position to get six wood next round. Takes a cow, sure. Pain playing elephant grass plant, nice. Needs to take his stuff on the board. He's got a pig, a food, and a stable. <laughs> but yeah, now has a reason to take a bunch of reed that he took early even though his rooms are cheaper. So next round does look like six wood Bigfoot, four wood Pain. PJ probably takes the three stone. The heck, stable's gone. Yeah, PJ obviously finishes first and then hopefully takes three wood, but Never know. Four sheep for Bigfoot, almost certainly. The only great actions I see for PJ are Auk or So. Because eating a clay seems totally fine here, aside from three wood. So I'm hoping that he doesn't have any need to do either of those but both seem fine it's just that it leaves six wood for bigfoot oh this is so bad how does pain not take equipper how does pain not take equipper uh, <laughs> uh, if three stone is gone, then I just plow. Oh, so bad. <laughs> Three 
plow and play resource recycler most likely. Oh, PJ only took one food off of art director. Pain triggers puppeteer, which doesn't trigger animal teacher, so that's fun. Yeah, it looks like he didn't animal teach there. Okay, so I get four wood uh, or three stone. The wood's going to be way more valuable here. Pain needs to take stuff from the board. Fencing seven. Yeah, that's good. What's happening here? Pain takes the three read because that's three points. I could get three stone. It'd be pretty great. Four wood, three stone would be way better than I thought this round was going to go. No, PJ takes it. I could be MW, I could take grain. I could play resource recycler. Does Ed bonus not give for the seventh box? Yeah, okay. Okay, so I think it's time to play resource recycler just to be safe. And then I don't sow a green by stage three, which is tough. Uh, there is five clay here. There is five clay here. So that's the obvious take if I can get it, though it makes a lot of sense for Pain or Bigfoot to take it. I don't see how PJ takes four clay, but I mean, I'm also going last, so it's hard to say what's happening. Pain grows with this action. Pain should only have two stables. Yeah, okay, he fixed it. Calcium fertilizers, that's a good card. It's underrated. PJ takes the clay. That is rather disheartening. Bigfoot's going to have all animal types pretty quick. Uh, so I want to plow this move if I can. Bigfoot playing site manager. I should consider playing emissary. I'm barely fed right now, though, so maybe not. Should consider taking wood because nobody has any. Don't remember what this is. Uh, oh, Basket Maker's Workshop. Okay. That's good. So I guess my read is for Acorn's Basket. <laughs> Pain buys the hearth makes a lot of sense when you have some pigs ready to breed uh okay so plow or three wood here i think both are pretty good 
Oh, Reno Hearth for pain. PJ has a second grain. And plays Trellis on wood. All right, thanks, Sid. Yeah, I don't think it's that terrible. I can do stuff here. It's just that the two-room game is uh, always a tough one, but should, it could very well be rewarding here. I still have a chance at doing all this in the quote-unquote wrong order, farming in the wrong order. Uh, four wood and then fences would be perfect. Fencing 13 because I have muckrake. Or I could even fence small. Basket Maker's Workshop is a great move. Wooden hut extender only for two wood to read. That's a bit unexpected. Yeah, maybe I uh, three wood and then fence. It's fine. All right, the stone in my supply should just stay there so I can get five, uh, four more food and a veg. Pain probably takes three wood here. Oh, he's taking four instead, that's fair. PJ doesn't have a place to play a major. He has three food right now. They played the hearth. Okay. I don't need a feeding plan until I grow, basically. Well, at least stage five, because I'm fed in stage four with pavior and well. I could just fence here. Potato harvester for PJ, netting him two food. So you can only take one from traveling. That's enough to feed, I guess, right? No, still one short with pottery. and can't uh, get a veg. Bigfoot's fed with sheep. I really need a feeding plan. Three wood kind of sucks, but on the other hand, not letting anyone else get it is pretty good. And I'm going last right now, which is really terrible. I think my chances are still okay. Everyone else's stuff is quite incomplete. Pain grabs a veg. PJ probably sews here. Can't see a reason not to. Has easy oven. And Payne takes a grain to end his round. So yeah, he'll want to sow and then take stone spaces. Stone comes out before cows. Bigfoot is taking four wood, says play by play. I will need to have food when I 
resource recycle. So I actually do need a fireplace and defense here. Uh, so things are getting a tiny bit sketchy, to be quite honest. Wall builder is off the team. I don't think I get the three sheep. Pain probably takes it. But fencing and four clay is okay. First action, fireplace or hearth next round. Or maybe second action. I am fed, but it's it's a little nasty right now. Fence 12 this way because then I can stable cleaner or muckrake if I have time. It might be take wood and last ditch do that. Maybe I'm hoping for too much. Bigfoot takes four clay. Wonderful. Not wonderful. Pain takes plow, so I get the three sheep. Excellent. I'm out to take three clay and fireplace next round. PJ builds. Uh, I should keep these sheep around because this will guarantee hook knife. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I should play acorns basket on start probably. Next round if I can. Pain playing a state worker. Pretty late to get wood clay reed stone on the next four rounds, but if you need it, you need it. I mean, the reed is needed to do the thing, the points thing. PJ does have trellises, so he probably takes two more first action. We'll see if anyone ever renos to stone. <laughs> so we can... Oh, throwing axe, that's neat. How did it get all that way? It's a good card. Fourth pick? I thought it was like the second best card there. Oh boy, goblet. Oh, cool. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> this card's funny. This card is funny. Yeah? Great. Uh, to take start player. Um, okay. 
Well, that was fun. Um, two more? Don't do acorns basket. My read is extra. I just don't need it. I can probably do it next round. Yeah, this could help me feed in a big way. And I probably take four food fishing next action uh, to pay for resource recycler when it happens. I don't want to not have tempo for that. That would be awful. Bigfoot plows first action, as you kind of need to at this point. PJ has no food. Pain is a little short on food. Bigfoot has food. Pain takes wood. Uh... Oh, PJ plays Clay Oven, sure. Yeah, it needs to be the specific order. PJ has another grain here. Three stone, four food, three clay. Probably just guarantee that I get this stupid fireplace, right? Because I kind of die without it. Nobody's running to stone this round. Unless Bigfoot travels. Risk worth taking. Trowel costs like wood per room though, and wood is really short, so maybe trowel doesn't get played. I think I'm feeding four and breeding no matter what, so. I don't have any tricks here. And the last well food is coming in, but that's when I get the fireplace. It's really too bad I'm not taking the actions like big stone grabs, but I'm still banking on the fact that I have more of a farm than anyone else. I mean, I'm really hoping, well, Reed Stone and Reno for PJ here would be my nightmare. Because I'm first action fire placing, unless I get two cows. Oof, Bigfoot Reno's milking stool. Instead of start player, a bit interesting there, but yeah, if you think the Reno needs to get done, well, that's one more clay room I can hope to get.
Pain plays Trowel. One stone per room. One stone short. Please, PJ, take Reedstone. I need you to take Reedstone right now. That would really save me. Pain certainly is taking the round 12 spot. Whew. Oh boy. Uh, it's not in the chat. Let's see if the game log caught anything. He did. And then hopefully PJ takes four wood over whatever. So Payne took a single cow, meaning I instead of fishing, so I can take first move fireplace. I do think I get to grow this round, and I'll play Acorn's Basket. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Okay, I think my game is savable. I think I did it. Pain grows, PJ takes four wood. I took my food already for that. Oh, I guess I do have enough food to pay resource recycler right now with the well. Ooh, this was close. Almost didn't get there. Um, so I can... So actually, I probably don't grow this round because people aren't going to let me. There could still be two renos this round, even though Payne has a stone coming in round 14 to do the trowel reno. That Bob Ross... <laughs> Cool story. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be an interesting end. I think it's okay. I think I got this to okay land, which was uh, no guarantee. Here, I could take fishing fireplace. I could plow fireplace. Fishing only really hurts PJ. Bigfoot and Payne have plenty of food. Bigfoot's at five cows. Has a BMW, is only on three people. I will want to do three wood and stable cleaner. Uh. I'm not going to take this risk. Five food would be fantastic, but I have no idea what's happening elsewhere. I'm just trying to avoid getting into a spot, you know, because like if PJ Renos for, with his next move, then I get a room or like pain Renos. Hey Marushka, you're try you're gonna see me try to pull off this clown starting in the fourth seat. So I was one round behind on Pavier established person mantelpiece opening. I wanted to get mantelpiece in round two, but I got it in three. And I'm using resource recycler to build my clay rooms. <laughs> so dumb. But this is a reason I really like revised edition. I can just go for these ultra clown lines and hope they work. 
I have Muckrake and or Acorns to play on Grow. If I get it. Who am I paying for these rooms, by the way? Just the supply. It, uh, Payne did have a clay, so he could have bought stone oven or joinery. Any of them could have bought joinery. Even if it's not a good move, you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, pottery, there was a potter's yard in the game. Okay, agricultural fertilizers for Bigfoot. When you covered two spaces, you got to sow. Payne manages to wield the three wood. Hopefully he doesn't wield double second wheel the plow. See if PJ Reno's for me. That would be really convenient. Plow is probably just better, though. Or fish. If he takes fish, I probably take sheep. And then I claim hook knife. And then I can eat my sheep. So is the flexibility of being done with hook knife worth the extra food here? I think it probably is. Hmm, maybe it's not. So Bigfoot is taking Reedstone. Payne does not get plowback, thankfully. PJ now wants a so bake and a veg. Just to check on trap layer, Payne only used it twice. It's probably not bad. Four food, two boar for the Ock. And also forcing to use day labor. Probably worth it. Nobody renoed super early, so my uh, stable cleaner muckrake looks less and less likely. Because it does take three actions to stable cleaner, wood, cow. Cow is three points with uh, muck. That is a lot of space covers, uh, coverage, though. Like here, here, here. Assuming all three reno, I'll have five clay rooms. Oh, I really hope everyone Rano's. It would be a shame if people didn't. Parrot breeder for Bigfoot? Just to get a boar, I guess? Or even a cow? But, yeah, I can't see any other reason. Probably is the same as taking a boar. For no food, one for Ock, one for Boar. Because, I mean, copying what I do. I mean, I do want a plow sow in round 14 for the veg that I get. It's a three point plow sow. But I'm not going to spend extra effort to take it. Uh, I didn't actually add my food, I just claimed I get one. Pain takes a cow. I mean, out of everyone, PJ's the closest to having a farm. 
Bigfoot has a lot of empty spaces. Bigfoot, I assume Plauso's here, overgrow. Which means I might get grow. Oh, and then Parrot Breeder pays the supply of grain? Yeah, so I don't get it. That would be amazing. So I think Bigfoot's gambling on me getting grow if PJ doesn't take it. So I'm really hoping someone builds a do uh, up uh, Renos to stone in this turn. I guess I'm getting grow regardless. All right, play by play says PJ is taking so bake here, which makes a lot of sense and a, a lot more sense if he has pottery yard. So I have to grow, right? And Bigfoot doesn't have a grain to pay. And I will start with Acorn's Basket, I guess. Plus G. Oh, midwife. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Uh, nice. Uh, Bigfoot probably has sleeping corner to run with. Pain takes the three wood. PJ takes Reedstone. Uh, start Acorns, I guess, to get this Plowso, or do I just take the cow here? Oh, hmm, yeah. Not great. I probably just have to eat two pigs so I can keep my sheep breeding. Because I really need them to breed to six. That was not a great cow. Probably should have just taken a grain. Ideally, I can four wood, stable clean, muck rake. Bigfoot is renoing with this wood rake. Nope, he's start playing. And Payne is taking two wood.
PJ takes two wood and gets two food. Fair enough. Then can run joinery. Payne gets fences down now, which is very nice. He might be the one to beat here. His farm is looking pretty good. Oh yeah, this is pretty risky of a line that I played here. Pain living open the option to plow so. Yeah, PJ's game looks good. Wow, and Bigfoot wheels plow, so, or nobody takes. Yeah, this is uh, not how I envisioned it. Pain can reno. I can't. Mantelpiece pans me from it. Two sheep is not bad for me. It's not great. What would I like here? There's no community bonuses. I don't want to see how far behind I am, because it's probably plenty. Bigfoot does hit Woodrake. It's a very nice card to start with in round 13. I'm not exactly fed right now, because of... Uh, yeah, so I should probably just uh, take two sheep. No, because then I don't have enough actions to do this. Oh boy. So PJ gets start here. I should have taken the two sheep, probably. So if I have three people and I want to buy two rooms, I need 10 food, which is only really a problem because I need to breed to six as it is currently. Stable cleaner costs me food, so it's probably not even worth it. Oh, two sheep, one grain, X. Is that how my game ends? Yep. so bad okay so grain and grow are my last two if I can Bigfoot's gonna get three wood here and maybe run offense
That's too bad. Man, that hook knife math was weird. Bigfoot is equally happy doing stone oven compared to Reno, but he gets fences this way. One action instead of two. Yeah, everyone delayed their Reno to stone just enough. And PJ took enough play to hit me. And with Potter's Yard in the game, I probably should have thought about that. But this is very possibly last place here. It's not going to be the worst game I've ever seen, but it's really not great. PJ can grow and doesn't have much option. Otherwise, yeah. Bummer. Bigfoot can even take two wood here, but I'm not sure that helps enough. Yeah, so I guess most of my resource gambles just didn't pay off. I didn't get six clay, I didn't get five clay, I didn't get six wood that time I started. Um, yeah, just... Blech. At least I have uh, 15 points on cards. Um... What's this? Bigfoot's Rhino Fencing? It looks like. Thankfully. So I do get my uh, fourth person. Well, the growth happened without room in 13, but it did happen in 14. PJ takes a very nice eight clay for the pottery and probably plays Potter's Yard last move. Yeah, good game from PJ. Missing some animals, but in a wood tight game, managed to get all the fences down. Yeah, good job. Uh, I grow here with Nada. So this is going to be my final farm. And you know, that's not awful. This is probably like a 30 or 40th percentile result from this strategy. I'm going to claim. There, yeah, I think about a third of the time it goes worse than this, and two-thirds of the time it goes at least a tiny bit better. There was Scholar in the game after all. PJ had Haydryer! Oh, that card's so good! Shame he didn't get out earlier, wow. All right, this is my final farm. You know, it's, it might be 45. Uh, there's a chance I get second place here. Payne's probably close to 50, if not exactly 50 or higher. Bigfoot might be there too, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm last. 
Oh, I'm 42? Yeah, it's not good. Bigfoot, 44, 46, 47. Pain also 46. PJ 41. So I get PJ by one. So avoid disaster. I think this is a shared win. Oh, Payne needed to eat one point. So is it 45? Like even round one, like if round one goes better, if I don't start fourth, then I get my opening. Well, based on Sid's uh, approximations of the early game, I have to say I did well for myself here. Um, being four points behind the winner and three points behind second and not even getting last, worth a lot. Um, should have taken the two sheep earlier, but I don't think that killed my efficiency much. Tight game. Oh, pain's like at work or something. Ah, oh, big foot. <laughs> big foot killed scholar. How ter how terrible. Uh, okay, so we do have three of us. It looks like. Ugh. That's really too bad. Uh, okay, well, uh, thanks for watching and hanging out today. Uh, I know that a uh, tourney game with no chat isn't necessarily the most exciting, but this is uh, good for the YouTubes, and I hope you understand that. Uh, so have a good weekend, everyone. And for those watching on the VOD, hope you check out my other videos, follow me on Twitch and all that good stuff. Uh, if we play another one, I'm not going to cast it, uh, just because I'm not feeling up for it right now. But uh, take care, everyone.